With Black Friday sales now starting days before the actual day, tomorrow is still expected to bring in sales and crowds. Holiday retail sales are estimated to be higher than last year to more than $950 billion in spending by 130 million shoppers. Correspondent Xavier Walton joins us live from a mall in South Florida. Xavier, shoppers are expected to come out in full force, bringing their shoulder pads and helmets to fight back those crowds. Yeah, they're gonna bring baseball bats too. You gotta fight people off for those, uh, those special deals. We're kidding, that is not gonna happen. That is not what's gonna happen uh, here at the Aventura Mall here in South Florida, here in Miami. Um, but listen to this, Nick. Nationwide, nearly 75% of Americans are planning on doing some sort of shopping, Black Friday shopping, um, over the course of the weekend, starting tomorrow. I'll be honest, I was at this mall uh, this week looking at some of the, some of the deals um, beforehand just to get an advantage, right? Uh, overall, though, holiday re retail sales are estimated to climb more than 3%, which doesn't seem like much. But, I mean, when you th think about the amount... $957 billion, that's what's expected. Uh, according to this, this is the same shopping forecast, 182 million people plan to shop during this long weekend, which is the most um, since the group really started tracking back in 2017. Uh, reportedly, deal hunting millennials are fueled by uh, some of the Black Friday flames. Uh, Gen Z spending is up 15%. Millennials spending up 14%, Gen X 12%, women spending 11%. So really across the board spending, when you look at it, is up. And here's something that everyone at home, if you are watching this, all you crazed shop till you drop folks can uh, be thankful for. Some of the most popular gifts are going to be cheaper this year. At least that's what's forecasted. So when you add you know, more people shopping, potentially cheaper products, economists believe uh, this holiday shopping season, albeit record setting, could determine, you know, which direction the economy goes. Historically, we think of Black Friday as a start, but really most, most experts are saying it, it begins around the 1st of November in earnest. And over the last uh, few shopping years, um, it's continued to kind of start earlier and earlier. And however, Black Friday, which is I'm characterizing as that day after Thanksgiving because there's been a lot of drift over the years, is still the largest shopping day uh, of the year. So you can't take away from Black Friday, but it really does earlier and earlier, especially when you, Nick, you know this, uh, when, you, when you start talking about online shopping, some of these deals um, have already been going on for, for a few days now, really at the start of the week. And if you talk about commercials, that's a whole nother story. Xavier, I do have to ask you, though, do you find it easier to just shop in a mall or are you one of those uh, people who will jump online? Well, it all depends on what exactly you're looking for, where you're going. Um, there are a couple malls here in South Florida where you know on Black Friday, um, you might have to elbow somebody to get what you want. So you might do some online shopping for that specific product. Then there are other places where you're like, okay, I'm gonna go in with my family, my fiance, whoever, um, and you're just gonna walk around and you're gonna enjoy some of the deals. But either way, it really is depending on case by case basis, Nick. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.